it's Alchemy Bros and I'm finally back for another YouTube video. I apologise, it's been a while, I've just been super busy. But today we've got an exciting unboxing. If you can't tell from my jumper, it's Christmas themed. So I put in an order of some Christmas horses um, with a Collector Club special model who's still in the post. And Raya sent out the Christmas stuff in advance, which is brilliant because last year a lot of my Christmas stuff didn't arrive till January. And anyway, I thought it would be fun to do a review of this year's Christmas horse and snowbird, as well as a few extra kind of Christmas themed goodies I got in this order. So start off by taking out the mountings of packing. Oh, here we go. And so I'll just show you quickly the first item I got. Um, this is Rosalie, who's one of the carousel horse Christmas ornaments. And I, this is my very first kind of briar ornament, but I really, really like this one. It's sculpted by Raven Magic, who sculpted Fireheart. And I love her as a sculptor, and I just thought this would be super cute for my Christmas tree. I might try and collect a few more of the carousel horses, because I do actually really like them. But I will show you this one close up in a minute. I also got this kind of little extra, a little Christmas holiday themed rug, which were like $10, they weren't too expensive. I got this little tartany one that says Happy Holidays from Briar. I just thought they were super cute and um, would be really cute for my like Christmas photos this year. And I just always love rugs. Anyway, on to the main event. And get it out of the box. Here we go. This is Snowbird, who is the 2022 holiday horse. So this is on the Troubadour Trotting Morgan mould, which has become really super popular. I already have two on this mould and it is one of my favourite moulds. It's just a really fun mould um, and it's in this kind of grey, rose grey colour, which it hasn't been done on the mould before. So what I'm going to do is get Snowbird out of the box. We'll have a look at Snowbird with and without the costume and I'll also rate how easy it is to take on and off the costume. So without any further ado, let me unbox this guy and then we'll take a close look. So here we have Snowbird in the like box. And first impressions, he's a really nice grey colour. So he's actually a really realistic type grey as opposed to kind of the more pearly greys that Briar have done for some of their Christmas horses, um, such as Arctic Grandeur last year, who had kind of these pearly socks. But as you can see, this one's actually quite chalky, I would say. Um, there's no really sort of pearlescent to him, which is great. I do like his costume. Um, I've got to say, I don't think the quality of the costume is as good as some of the previous costumes I've had. Like this here needs re-gluing, um, which should be easy. And it does feel a little bit sticky in places. Um, but I do like the costume on this model. Makes him look like he should be strutting off to kind of a winter masquerade which is what i imagine all my kind of holiday horses are meeting up to do so his theme is kind of this blue and gold and he's got these kind of floral bouquet on him and yeah he's a really nice sweet horse on the troubadour mold mine sadly does have a few box rubs which is a problem with the holiday horses i think because they've got all these kind of dangly bits on them they do tend to rub a little in the box so Sadly, I don't think he is quite up to live show standards, which is a shame because he is a really nice colour and his shading is super. But, um, yeah, the costume has kind of rubbed him a little bit. But I am really glad I got him. I think he is a really nice holiday horse. He's not quite my favourite. I would say my favourite holiday horse of the ones I own so far is probably All Tide Greetings on the Shandell mould. I just really loved his costume. But this is really nice and ornate and I think it should be super easy to take off as well. So I'll just show it you from the back so you can kind of appreciate that wintry kind of glittery floral bouquet. And then he's got kind of this costume that goes all the way around. And then his headpiece, he's got this feather with a little bit of silver interspersed and he's got some like shiny blue diamonds on so he is very sparkly and does feel very festive anyway i'll get him out of the costume and then i'll chat about how easy it is to do and as if by magic now we have an undressed snowbird so i think from this shot you can appreciate how nice the shading is on this model like he has some really nice dark points some really nice lighter points 
Um, I am going to say though, I am really disappointed by the amount of rubs on him. So we have some on his hindquarters here, which I think will have been from where those um, tassels have rubbed on him in transit. He also has quite a few on his other side here. So it is a shame. It is the downside of these Christmas horses. Um, I think he could probably still have quite a good career, maybe in performance. And I think he would be a really nice model as like a performance model. And he's still going to be really nice for photos. And I do just like the Christmas horses and do collect them. So I'm still not regretting getting him. I just wish that they would package the costume separately from the model and have just a how-to of how to tack them up so that you could do it at home. His costume was really simple to take off. It's literally this kind of band of ribbon here with Velcro. You take that in front of the belly and then there's just a Velcro strap here that goes around the front. So it's just two Velcro scraps and the whole body piece is off. And then the headpiece is literally just a clip under the chin and that's it. So it would be so easy to put the costumes on at home. Um, I really wish Briar would just package them separately because then you could have both a nice model and a costume model. I know it wouldn't look as pretty in the box, but I am kind of a bit bummed because the model's paint job is so good. But anyway, this is him. Has some nice eye whites, some nice detail. And he's just so beautifully shaded. I do really recommend getting him. Hopefully you'd get a better quality one than mine. But he is stunning. And I am actually going to pop him in the little holiday rug so you can see that too. Turns out he's a little bit long for the rug. He is one of the longer moulds to be fair. But this is my rug that I got as just a little add-on. I think it's really super cute. I love kind of the tartan colour. It was like a gambler's choice. I think there were three designs and this wasn't my favourite. But... It is a really nice little rug, so I'll be taking some pictures of this, probably with models that it actually fits um, over the coming weeks as I do my Christmas photo shoots. Last but not least, I thought I'd show you Rosalie a little bit closer as well. So this is the carousel horse ornament for this year. And I have to say this is really, really cute. I was having an hour about getting her, but I did just really love her pose. And I just thought this is such a cute little fairy tale style carousel horse like I would have absolutely loved this as a little girl and I think it's just so cute I really want to get some more now actually and have like a carousel horse tree but look at all this detail so all the colours in the saddle and all the roses in the mane and she's got some pinking around her nose and eyes she's just really pretty and I'm really looking forward to seeing her on my tree this year and here we are at the end of my Christmas haul. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing Snowbird. And I do really think he is a very nice model from Briar. And the costume is really, really easy to remove. Although I've just realised he's got it twisted when I've put it back on. There we go. Um, really easy to remove. So you could definitely have him as a shelf model for the 11 months of the year that it's not Christmas. And a Christmas model for December, which is what I do. Um, all my Christmas horses actually get dressed on December the 1st when I put my Christmas decorations up. So Arctic Grandeur here, last year's Christmas horse is actually wearing the little Happy Holidays rug, which is demonstrated a little bit better on him, fits him a bit better. And I've got my decoration ready to hang up with Rosalie, the little unicorn there. So I'm really pleased. I'm so glad Briar sent this out separately. I do have a very special model on the way as well. Um, but it took a little bit of a while for them to ship that one. So I'm glad they sent me all my Christmas stuff so that I could actually enjoy it in plenty of time. And I will be back with another video soon. I've got quite a few models on the way. So there is probably going to be a big haul video at some point. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoy December wherever you are. And I wish you a very Merry Christmas um, if you're watching this nearer to Christmas Day. Take care now. Bye bye.